He read something. The scripture says this. And this is what they said. When the enemy comes here like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard. And it is wrong. The Lord says that when the enemy comes in, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard. God says this. He read this. He read this. Apostle. Second, second Chronicles is third chapter. I mean the, the second, the second verse said this. The, this is you. This is you. He says, Then came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude. Ain't nothing wrong with a multitude coming. But he said, against thee, from beyond the sea, on the other side. What I will shape, what I will say to you and share with you, is that yes, there has been a great multitude to rise up against each and every last one. Let us not be mistaken of where we are. One thing about it is I understood where I was. I was walking in on some lack. I always thought I could talk about what we living good, but really I was living poor. Because I was making my job my resource. I was making my resource my job, my, my job my source. But God said, yes, there comes a great multitude against you. And you know what your great multitude is. Let us not be trickery. Let us not see, get past this. And I can't believe they got me out here because I'm going to tell you something. What God is about to do is he's about to release something against your multitude. Hallelujah. Yeah, he's about to release something. Pastor Bates believe it. I'm going to tell you something. One thing I've learned is that by faith, God's word is established. And it says this. He says, there come a great multitude against you. They claim some to tell them, to tell King Moab, where Joseph is. I'm telling you, yes, there's a great multitude that comes against you. But God says they're coming on the sea from the other side. God says when people in, in the flood areas, when the flood comes, they build up dams very quickly. Because they're trying to hold the flood. God said he's about to remove your dams. God said he's about to remove your dams. And this is coming from my heart. Because I see it. And God says when he removes the dam, because a lot of people have been closing up, putting the dam on Jesus, on God, so he can't move in. When the Spirit of the Lord comes, when he becomes in like a flood, God says he's about to remove the dam. God says you've been building up dams against the enemies that come against you. In your mind, you've been physically trying to, how can I build this, this dam up? How can I, because the dam keeps things from coming. But God says the enemy is already coming. God says, now what he's doing is he's releasing the dams in your life so that the flood of the anointing of God Hallelujah. will come and rest upon you. Hallelujah. God says, you don't know how it's going to happen. God says, don't even realize, don't even try to think about how it's going to happen. He says, it's going to happen because he's allowed it to happen because he just now revealed it to you from the prophet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God says, listen, believers believe. Believers choose to believe. And then anybody else that do not choose to believe, they pick options. God said, if you are a true believer, Hallelujah. just choose to believe. And leave the options to those enemies that comes up against you. Hallelujah. Because that when that dam is removed, it's going to wash away every enemy, every sickness. Today was a healer. Today was a healer. I'm talking about every disease. And yes, every person that set itself up against us. And God says, it's going to allow the waters to wash away every dam, every issue, every threat, every concern, that you will ever, ever, ever have. Hallelujah. God says, no more being confined and being locked up 
in places where believers do not belong. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God says no more. Now, the psalm is an actual prison. Locked up. And the psalm is the, is the prison of mine. God says he's releasing me. God says through the word that was released today, that there has been a release, there has been a lift. And God said, you will never again worry. But God said, you're going to have to go back and just rehearse what was done. But if you believe, you shall receive. In Jesus' name. I mean, that Can I just... So that Lord yeah, Jesus. it's no mistake. It's no mistake you hear this. Ain't no mistake. And why I'm seeing somebody dying. Why I see them. I say it's no mistake. I declare right now, Father God, that they are believers. Thank you, Jesus. And Father God, even the things that they find it hard to believe. Father God, even the things that they find it hard to believe. Father God, I stand and I say, it is so in their lives. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, God says it is done. In Jesus' name, amen. Now you need to tell me that you are, you, 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 you good, I'll go back, I'll go back. Do you stay right here? You, uh, I'm just asking this one question, I don't know why, but I might be, you know, but, Baby. No babies, no kids, no no baby around you, no you don't do it with You're not connected to somebody. Are you trying? You try. Oh, that's a that's a that you know what that is not so. God says that's not so. God says that you have been placed. You have been. And God says that you subscribe. Give me your book. India Jones. God says India Jones. He's called you out specifically to let you know that the blessing that was bestowed upon my wife, the apostle's wife, the elder's wife, is now yours. Options are left to people who don't believe. The doctor said, well, you Go gotta ahead, do this, you gotta do this. And see, what happens is they feed our unbelief. So then when we go praying to God, we start believing and praying to God for options. And God said, he's a God that meant what he declared in the beginning. And God says, in your beginning, sister, you naturally Problems. It's not going to be any problems with him. You do nothing. God says, if you can believe, it is yours. It is yours. It is yours. Just because he loves you. Ha! Day! 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 Somebody, you say, I want you to say it. It is mine. Say it. It is mine. The baby is mine. I don't have to take options. Because God gave me a choice. And I choose to believe in that choice. And sister, it is so in the name of Jesus. I declare it. This is going to happen. 
Matter of fact, God says, sister, October. <coughs> so I'm going to be so bold to tell you what God said. October. Now this is straight. This is belief. This is no wavering. This is no, this is no doubt. Ha, go, day, 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 no more belief. God says every day. You just say, God, <coughs> you spoke it. I was at that storefront, but it's not storefront. This is a forefront. This is not storefront church. I was at that forefront church. And the man of God said, it is so. So Father God, it 